Hello again, I uh, just wanted to make a short video, uh, kind of a pickup slash first impression video, of this new Atari 2600 game I just got. It's a homebrew boxing game called KO Cruiser. Yeah, take a look at the cart. Uh, it's available at Atari age, and yeah, I haven't played too much yet. It's kind of like Punch-Out, except that you have the freedom to move around the ring. Of course, uh, as you can see, the cartridge looks great. It's got a full-color label, uh, but then again, everything from Atari Age always looks really good. And, of course, it also comes with a full-color manual. That also looks really, really nice. Uh, it's got the same artwork as the cartridge. You know, got the little Atari Age logo, everything's looking fine. You open it up, it's got all the information you'd figure it would have. A little introduction, screenshot, uh, controls. Uh, each of the characters has a little description and background information. So yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. All in all, it's a pretty cool package. But is the game any fun? As I said, it, it's kind of like Punch-Out. Uh, the view is from behind your boxer, and you have to learn the different moves and timings of your opponent and figure out when the openings are to land your punches. Each boxer has his own unique look and style of fighting, and I'm finding that even on the bronze level, which is the easiest, it's pretty challenging. Uh, I still have to learn the last fighter's moves. Uh, and then, of course, the challenge becomes moving up the difficulty ladder. The silver level moves twice the speed of the bronze, and in the gold level, your foes are twice as fast and twice as powerful as the easiest difficulty. The controls are easy to learn, and the ability to move around the ring gives you the option to run away from a combo if possible, uh, rather than just dodge. Uh, you can block punches as well, but some are too powerful to guard against, so you have to learn what those are and when they're coming. Uh, your attacks are just basic left and right punches, but since you have freedom of movement, you have to make sure you're lined up correctly, or else your attack might miss. One thing I will say about the controls is that I'm not sure the standard Atari joystick is up to the task. It works okay, but I'm thinking a Sega Genesis pad would be more responsive, especially on the silver and gold difficulties, so I'm gonna have to try that sometime. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little look at this game. I've got a lot of playing to do to beat the game on the gold level, but so far I'm really enjoying KO Cruiser. <laughs> 